think we are live. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, we're live. Okay. <laughs> What's up, guys? I'm Seth Fowler. Thank you so much for tuning in to tonight's live stream. Tonight is going to be a lot of fun. We've got a lot of really cool stuff to, uh, to go over tonight. Um, but before we actually jump into any of that, I just want to say hi to a lot of you guys who have decided to take the time and spend some time with me on this, uh, this really rainy night in Philadelphia. I appreciate you guys being here. What's up, Justin, Kieran, Deep Fried, Nelvin, what's good, Kieran, uh, who else we got, Hunter, oh man, there's a lot of people in here today, Ellen, what's good, Vicar, Adrian, Incredible Kicks, what's good, Malik, how's it going, Lee McGinnis, how you guys doing, let's see, let's see, there we go, wow, 95 people watching already, thank you guys so much for tuning in, I appreciate it, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, also make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter, at Real Seth Fowler. Uh, let's see, Kelvin, what's good? Good to see you back, Ronnie. DeAndre Roberts, the NSA is watching. LP Gaming, Zane, Andy, Connor, Chosen Beard. I feel like my beard is a chosen beard, I don't know. <laughs> Stewie, Andy, uh, John Ho, Jay. Jason, it's good to see you, man. It's been a minute. It's been a long minute. Aaron, what's good? Seth, nice name, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, Mustafa, how's it going? Connor, Iggy, uh, Jim. Dave, Joshua, how are you guys doing tonight? I'm having a great night. I'm getting ready to move. Um, funny story, it looks like I'm in my regular studio, but my regular studio is actually completely gone. This is, I'm not even kidding, this is straight up a green screen. <laughs> I took a picture of the studio before I left. Actually, if I slide this chair over, you can see the chair I usually film in. Right there. <laughs> I just thought, I, there's, literally there's nothing behind me other than a green screen. I like My sneaker shelves are all gone, and this isn't even the same room as the room that it looks like that I'm in. And uh, I felt like I needed to have something in the background before we actually got sneaker shopping. So I thought like that would be the move. But <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in. The 268 of you who are here right now, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Alex, what's good? Moshi, Anthony, uh, who else we got? Um, David, Magic, subscriber else. I appreciate that, Mar Magic. That's a good call. Justin says, fool me. Yeah, that was the whole plan. I mean, you might, you might have figured it out once you saw my arms kind of disappear. And like the shadow on the green screen, like right under there. Oh, right under there. Where'd it go? Okay, there it is. <laughs> oh, man. You just sent me off Y5s. That's dope, Matt. That's awesome. I'm jealous. I tried. I, I bought it. When I bought my pair, I bought it for uh, for resale from Stadium Goods. I actually buy a lot of my sneakers from Stadium Goods, especially early because they have all the stuff early. We'll get into that a little bit later. Um, first of all, shout out to Farfetch for sponsoring today's live stream. Huge shout out to them. They're one of my favorite sponsors. I think my favorite sponsor of the channel because they're just really great people. Um, and you know what? Let's just jump right into this sponsor bit just to give them a huge shout out. Um, really quick before we get into that, Hector was good. Jake, Keyblade, Vito, Armin. Oh man, okay. A lot of you guys here. This is so great. But uh, as usual... Thank you so much for Farfetch for sponsoring today's video. It's an absolute pleasure that you guys have uh, decided to, to help out the channel and support the channel in this way. Farfetch is my favorite place to buy sneakers because they actually own stadium goods or they are a large part of stadium goods. Let me just throw some up on the screen really quick. And for this, uh, for this video, for this live stream, I actually have a special code right up there which is uh, Seth11, which actually gives you 11% off, only available for 24 hours. There's a link in the description below to check out Farfetch. But Farfetch is my favorite place to buy sneakers because one, they own Stadium Goods, so they have Stadium Goods' entire stock on their website. And that's actually where we'll be shopping for some grails. Farfetch has blessed me with some credits. I really appreciate it. So we're able to grab a, a sneaker grail or possibly a couple sneaker grails tonight. So I'm so stoked on that. Um, but yeah, so so Stadium Goods has an incredible selection. Farfetch has an incredible selection. And uh, everything that they have on their website is 100% authentic. And the way that we know that it is is because they actually have people, real people, checking every single one of their products. And then they also have new technology, which they didn't go into too much detail about, but they've got some really cool proprietary bleeding edge technology that they use to check sneakers, which I think is super, super cool. Um, also, with Farfetch, one of the best parts is there's no hidden costs. So no matter where you are in the world, you know that the price that they have on their website is the price that you're getting. A lot of times when you buy sneakers or just anything from overseas, what will happen is there'll be duty fees and websites won't tell you about them. And that can be a huge problem, especially if you live in Canada. I know I've talked uh, with some of my other YouTube friends from Canada. What's up, Tom, if you're in the chat? Um, and he always has uh, problems with duty fees. So Farfetch gets rid of that completely. I love it. I mean, they don't, it's, it's still there, but they tell you right up front what you're going to be paying. So you're not surprised by the, some crazy duty fees. Um, the other huge benefit of Farfetch, which I personally love, which you can only get through buying things through Farfetch, especially sneakers, is that they actually offer 14 day returns, free returns 
no hassle returns, and the best part is they have someone come to your house and pick up the sneakers from you. I've only returned like two things to Farfetch, I think out of everything that I bought, but uh, they literally had a guy come and pick it up whenever I wanted. I just, I said, uh, I think it was through their website or maybe through an email or something, but I set the time that I was at home. The guy came through, picked up the package, and within a couple days, the, the refund was back in my account, which is incredible, which, I mean, especially when you're buying sneakers, like that's such a huge, huge help, especially like um, Grail sneakers. It's, it's awesome, so love Farfetch for that. And then the other thing I wanted to touch on was that Farfetch actually aggregates everything on their website um, it's like 50 boutiques on, on what is it 50 countries I think it's I think it's boutiques in 50 different countries so you can find everything that you're looking for no matter what it is no matter what brand it is you can find it on Farfetch and the best part is especially now in these uncertain times um, you're able to help smaller boutiques that wouldn't be able to get the exposure uh, by shopping through Farfetch and by helping them out by buying things from them so huge shout out to Farfetch for uh, just Letting those other boutiques and those brands get some exposure that they wouldn't otherwise get. So, huge shout out to Farfetch. Once again, if you guys would like to shop anything that we look at in today's uh, live stream, I guess I keep saying video, but it's a live stream. If you want to check out anything that we talk about in today's live stream, you can definitely uh, click the links in the description below. I have my own personal edit on there, which has a bunch of my sneakers, which I love. And then also make sure to use that code right up there on this side, which gives you 11% off for only 24 hours. Seth 11, so make sure to check that out. But... With all that being said, let's jump into the next segment of today's live stream, which is actually going to be a AMA, which I, I posted on Instagram, so you guys should definitely be following me on Instagram if you're not. Um, I posted on Instagram, ask me anything. And so I picked a couple questions on here that, uh, that I, I figured I could answer. Um, I didn't pick any of the ridiculous ones, obviously, <laughs> but I picked, I picked some decent ones. Um, so I'm gonna go through these really quickly, but before we do that, let me just read through the chat. Is that your Billionaire Boys Club flannel? Yes, which I got from Farfetch. Shout out to Farfetch for this flannel. I love this flannel. It's sick. Um, cop the Dior's. Whew. Well, I don't have that much credit. <laughs> I don't have that much credit, but that would be sick. Um, you write something on your Off-White Jordan 1s? No, actually, Virgil Abloh wrote that on my shoes. I, um, I, I did a vlog on it back in 2017, but I went to an event. I met Virgil, and uh, he signed my shoes for me, and I actually got the shoes. It, it's funny. I keep forgetting that this isn't actually the studio behind me. This is a green screen. If you guys are new to the stream, to the 535 of you guys here, thank you all so much for tuning in. This is dope. Yeah, this is a green screen. I actually have completely taken down my studio as of two hours ago. So this is no more. You will see, um, I've actually filmed all the videos for the rest of the week. Well, there, I think there's only one more video for the rest of the week, but I filmed that video. <laughs> That'll go live later this week. And then um, after that, we've got some, some new videos coming up in a new studio, which I'm still actually not in yet. So, um, you should get the Jordan 1 Trophy Room Chicago's. Kelvin, dude, I know. Those are sick. Those are really sick. But uh, really quickly, let me go through some of these AMA questions. The first one is from jqual10 on Instagram. He says, your favorite non-Jordan silhouette. Well, I'd say like in 2016, 2017, it would have been the Ultra Boost 1.0. And I still think that's definitely up there for me. But right now, my favorite non-Jordan silhouette is definitely the New Balance 992s. I love that shoe so much. I'm obsessed with New Balance right now, man. I think I will continue to be obsessed with New Balance for a while, but it's definitely the 992s. Um, okay, so next question is from GNOHSP. I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce that. Gnosp, maybe? <laughs> um, so uh, the question is, Ravens going to the Super Bowl this year? 100%. Lamar Jackson is the truth. You guys can see the helmet. There we go. It's that side. Jeez, man. <laughs> I'm so disoriented. The helmet's right back there. Um, I'm a huge Ravens fan. The Ravens are my favorite football team of all time. My favorite team, probably. I'm a big Sixers fan, but I think the Ravens are like number one team for me. I grew up in Baltimore. Um, I was I was born in 92 when the Ravens were founded in 96, so I don't have like vivid memories of when they were founded, but I do remember growing up with the Ravens, so they've always been my, my home team. Um, 992s versus the 990v5s uh, from Jorge. Um... 992s. I think I like the looks of the 992 better. 992s better. The 990 V5s are um, are really dope and they're really comfy, but the 992s, they just look amazing. And plus, there's so many good collabs on that shoe. I mean, it's just overall, it's a killer shoe. Um, the next question uh, is also actually from GNO HSP. I should have. Dang it, I didn't mean to pick the same person. It's a good question. He's asking good questions. Um, he said, Sneaker of the Year so far. Huh. Okay, I didn't. I should have thought about these before I answered. <laughs> Sneaker of the year so far. Um, for me, oh man, 
I think it genu- – man, I, I hate that I just had 992 for my other answer for for him. But um, I think it might be the uh, – the uh, oh, man, the, the 992's Anatomy of a Heart collab. I think that's my that's my personal favorite sneaker of the year. I think a lot of people are going to say Dior's or, uh, or Ben & Jerry's Dunks. Both good shoes for sure, especially with the Dior's being like handmade in Italy. Um, that makes, I mean, that's, they're an incredible Jordan 1 for sure. I don't, I, I like the way that they look, but I don't think I'd pay 20 grand for them or whatever they're going for right now. Um, 992s are a personal favorite. 997s are a personal favorite. Uh, the Mocha 1s are dope. I love the Off-White 5s. They've actually been one of my most worn pairs of sneakers. Really love it. Um, Powerless Hero says, what do you think about the new Ninja sneakers? I'm actually into them. Actually, Adidas, funny story. So the video that I filmed that's going live on Saturday is an unboxing. And the, those Adidas sneakers came in literally like an hour after I filmed it, which is really annoying. So I'll post some pictures on Instagram, so make sure to give me a follow. Uh, Off-White 4s from Jason, definitely a good call for early sneaker of the year. So the next question is from Not Hashi, uh, and he says, uh, how did you start designing shoes? That's a good question. So... I first started designing sneakers back, well, let me let me start from the very beginning. So I, I went to design school um, because I'd always been in love with design and I didn't know exactly what I wanted to design. Um, so I just went into basic industrial design, which can lead to footwear design. There's also specializing in footwear design, which you can do at like FIT and colleges like that. But I went to Drexel for industrial design and um, I just loved it. And so I really started to get into sneakers back when I was like 15, 16, but I never really thought about designing sneakers because I thought it was like more fashion than the industrial design that I wanted to do. Um, so I worked in, in New York for a couple years at a couple different places, um, a couple design firms and at a kitchenware place and a dog toy place. And I finally just realized that like, man, I love sneakers so much. Why am I not trying to design a sneaker? And then I was given the opportunity to design the, uh, the Planters Peanut sneaker. Uh, two years ago from a from an old coworker. Um, oh, Leo Fung, thank you so much for the $3 donation. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I really, really appreciate that. Um, I love the thumbs up. That's dope. The pair of thumbs up, that's sick. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, yeah, so I, I designed that, and then, uh, then I was given the opportunity from We Are Underdog to design my own signature. So I went ahead and did that too, which is incredible. Super grateful to them for the opportunity. It's been a, it's been a really great, it's been a really great experience. But yeah, so then hopefully, you know, moving forward, we'll see what other opportunities I'm given. But you never know. So that's sort of how I got into it. Um, the next question is from Komodari172, and it says, first shoe you bought yourself." Huh. Um. Probably not, nothing that exciting. I think it's probably a pair of like Vans Authentics or something. The Vans Authentic was like my favorite sneaker for years. Um, I think it's the Vans Authentic. Um, uh, Anthony Quillette says, simple question, do you have a Twitch channel? I do. It's Seth Fowler. I'm not going to be streaming this weekend because I'm moving, but uh, I definitely will be streaming in the very near future. I do have a Twitch channel. Just search Seth Fowler. You should find it. Um, but yeah, so I think the first shoe I ever bought myself was probably the Vans Authentic in... No, that's not true. The first shoe I ever bought myself, it was a pair of Vans. <laughs> but I think it was the uh, the checkerboard, the pewter and black checkerboard van slip-ons. That's what it was. That's what it was. Billy Samkin, thank you so much for the 70, uh, 79 pence. Is that what it is? Am I getting that correct? Um, favorite colorway of the origins. Thank you, Ben Fernandez. I think the latest one, the uh, the black uh, under construction one. I love that shoe. I'm obsessed. It, Jason Negrito took the shoe that I designed and made it like 10 times better. I'm obsessed with it. He killed it. That's my favorite colorway. Def- the OG colorway too, just because it's like, has a you know a nice place in my heart, but definitely that that black colorway is sick. Uh, okay, so the next question is from Quentin Redert. He says, "What was your goal five years ago, and did you make it a reality?" Five years ago, 2015. 2015, I wasn't. I don't think I was even thinking YouTube at the time. I uh, I didn't really have one. I was working. Where was I? I was working at the kitchenware place, designing like spatulas and stuff. And actually, I have. French press somewhere that I designed somewhere in this office what I'm packing so I don't know exactly where it is um but yeah so I was working there and I was trying to figure out just what I wanted to do and I think for me at that time I was just like one day I'll start like a design consultancy and that's what I'll do I didn't have like a solid goal um and then in 2016 when I started the YouTube channel I didn't expect it to do as well as it's doing like to have anywhere close to the number of people following me that follow me so thank you guys so much for that that's crazy um but yeah, I mean, it's it's not it's definitely not what I thought was going to happen. But I'm much happier doing what I'm doing now than what I was doing before. So, I mean, it's it's I, I don't I don't remember my goal from five years ago. But whatever it was, it's not as cool as the reality turned out to be. So, 
definitely thank you guys so much for the opportunity to do this. But uh, Luminati says, uh, gives me 199. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the donation. I really appreciate that a lot. Quick question. How much does sneakers hate you? It hates me, man. Sneakers app hates me. Hates me. It's I haven't gotten anything in uh, forever. Actually, that was the last question. So the sneakers app question will be the <laughs> final question of the day. But no, the sneakers app hates me. I, I really can't think. The last thing I got was, I think, the VaporMax 2020, which sat. So, I don't know. But, okay, so now that we've gone through the Q&A, let's start buying some sneakers. <laughs> I'm really excited. So, again, shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Farfetch. They hooked it up with some credits. So we're going to be going on their website and copping some shoes. Let's try and switch up the screen. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Okay, so this is farfetch.com. If you guys haven't ever been, you guys should definitely check it out. Again, there's a link in the top of the... Now I keep doing that. There, right? Discount code. Seth11, 11% off. Uh, Miami, thank you so much for the two euro. Is that euro? I really appreciate that. Thank you. Bought the Dark Mocha ones for 400. Did I overpay? Uh, I mean, if you bought them early, you're going to pay more early. That's just what happens. Um, I wouldn't say you overpaid. I would just say you pay what you what you what you're willing to pay for them, you know, and I think they're a great shoe, so, I think, I think they're going to go up in value, too, I think that shoe's going to be worth, I mean, around 400 bucks in the future, so, uh, use code Seth11 for 11% off farfetch.com, links in the top of the description, but this is Farfetch, you can grab all sorts of really dope stuff here, but today we're going to be really focusing on sneakers, if there's any, like, clothing stuff you guys want to see, too, I can pull that up as well, but, um, I'm really going to be focusing on grabbing a grail today, so, let's start things off by just clicking the sneakers tab and seeing what we got. So, we've got, this is, what is it sorted by? Our picks. Okay, so these are Farfetch's far picks. Um, I'm assuming these are probably, like, maybe not best. Let's see, what, is there a bestseller section? Let's see. I'm assuming that these are the bestsellers. Uh, you've got Common Projects, Alexander McQueen, Balenciaga. These are wild. <laughs> these are wild looking, man. I, I like them more as, uh, as just, like, sock shoes. Uh, what else we got? We got some off whites, a new version of these off white sneakers. I really prefer off white Nikes, but that's just me. I think that's, that's a lot of sneakerheads too. Um, the flannel you're wearing is nice. Where'd you get it from? Far fetch, far fetch. It's actually a billionaire boys club flannel. Fla uh, blah, blah, blah. It's a billionaire boys club flannel that I got from Far Fetch. I love it. And it, dude, with this beard, it makes me look like a lumberjack, which I'm into because I don't have any muscles. So like, it kind of looks. It's like baggy enough that it kind of looks like I have like dope arms, but I don't. So <laughs> thank you, Rafi. I appreciate that. Uh, are you moving within the city or to another state? Uh, I don't, uh, I have to wait and see. I don't know. Um, is a Yeezy Carbon a better resale value than natural? I don't know. I'm terrible with resale. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm really bad with that sort of stuff. I personally like it better because it's black, and I think black Yeezys look really dope. Um, we've got, uh, Common Projects, Alexander McQueen. What else we got? Golden Goose, Versace. Versace, Versace. I miss the Migos, man. Uh, what else? We, okay, let's go to... Um, it's all dope stuff, but not something that I'm personally looking to grab. So let's go and check out the designer section and type in Nike. Let's just go straight to what... Let's do Nike and Nike Off-White. Ooh. Ooh. Man, starting off crazy. Okay, here we go. So, okay. Oh! Noah Walter, thank you so much for the twenty four ninety nine. I really appreciate that. You were crazy, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Do you like the Tinker Retro Oregon Duck PEJ3s? If so, uh, you should dish out half a fortune for them. I Oregon. Let me see if Farfetch has them. I don't know. I've never actually. Heard, I've heard of the Tinker shoes. I've heard of the Tinker uh, J3s, but I've never seen the Oregon Duck version of this. I don't know if Farfetch will have it or anyone will really have it because it's probably a pretty limited PE. But let me see, Tinker. Air Jordan 3. I know they'll have the Tinker Air Jordan 3s. Well, I don't know if it's called that, but... Oh, yeah. They got the Tinker 3s. A bunch of Tinker 3s. Um, oh, 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 look at these. Are these the We The Bests? Are these the... Um, yeah, these are the uh, DJ Khaled Jordan 3s. Oh, man. Should I sit on the other side of the screen? I feel like I'm covering up the sneakers. <laughs> I actually have some green a little bit on this uh, flannel, too, so you can kind of see behind me a little bit. There we go. Doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> but Noah Walter, thank you so much for the uh, donation. I really appreciate that. If I called you Noah Walker before, my bad. I meant Noah Walter. Thank you so much, man. Um, will you do a room tour when you get your new place? Absolutely. 100%. But yeah, these are wild. Uh, as much as I like this shoe, 
I don't think I like it like car pain. Well, car enough. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, let's go back to what we were looking at. We were looking at the. Um, Oh, look at this. We got the ISPA, the Flow 2020s. Not a huge fan of ISPAs. I mean, they're fine. It's just not something I'd wear on a regular basis. We got the Supreme Air Force Ones. Oh, what? What is this? What is this? What is this? I have never seen this before in my life. Yo, what? <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. Is it not? Oh, man, it's a little too low on the screen. I really should have done a better job of framing this. Let me uh, <laughs> let me back out. What's, what's happening on this shoe? There we go. Um, what is this? I've never seen anything like this in my life before. You know what? I'm going to move my body over. I feel like I'm just covering up everything. Hold up. Hold up, guys. Quick, quick adjustment. Let's go to uh, green screen. Move this guy over here. That's me. Move me. There we go. Perfect. There we go. And then, you know what? I'm going to move this window over. Oh, I can't do that, actually. Dang. Uh, yeah, screw it. We have to do it this way. Uh, okay. <laughs> these are wild. These are really wild. I don't know what these are, but... Um, yeah, okay. There, there are no. Let's just say that. Let's just say that. Let's no. Let's see what else we got. We have got uh, ACGs. Oh, we got the Ben & Jerry's Dunks. These are dope, but like it's not a shoe that I know. I don't think I could wear it, like on a very regular basis. Um, it's just it's like a dope looking shoe for sure, but I don't know. I feel like in this scenario, if I was gonna drop that kind of money, I'd probably buy like a couple pairs of sneakers that were like that I could I could buy a whole rotation for like a week, I think. And I think I, I might. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, Musa, thank you so much for the one dollar. I really appreciate that. Uh, Portugal here. What's up, uh, Ermelito? But Musa, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that a lot. Um, let's see. What do you guys think? Do you guys have any suggestions for Grail sneakers that you think I should pick up? I have a couple in mind, but um, I'm not 100% sure. Let's go. We've got the the MCA Off-White, um, I almost called the Dunks, Air Force Ones. We've got Michigan Dunk Highs, which are dope. We've got the Mags. We've got the What the Dunks right up there, which are nuts. Travis Dunks, Sakai's, uh, Grateful Dead Dunks. The green, I don't know if I like the green ones or the uh, the yellow ones better. I think personally, the yellow ones, but let's see. Um, these ones are dope, the Off-White Dunk, or Off-White, I did it again. <laughs> Off-White Air Forces. I actually have always wanted this pair of Travis Scott Air Forces, and I've never grabbed one for myself. So I might actually, this might be one of the shoes that we add to the uh, the collection tonight. I don't know why it took me so long to actually try and grab these, but I um I've been considering it. Let's see, Grinches, uh, recommendations, Mags, Tokyo Planet Racers, Chicago Dunks. Ooh, Chicago Dunks are a cool idea. That's actually a great idea. Here, let me um see where these boys are at. Oh, we got the Sean Witherspoons. I actually already have a pair of those. We've got the uh, Travis Scott uh, Cactus Jacks. Oh, we got some Kobe's. I actually don't have any pairs of Kobe's right now. That might be something I pick up. Um, let's see what else we got. We got these, the Dunks. I actually don't have these either. We, oh, we've got the the Strange Loves. That could be a definite cop. I've always wanted to grab these so I could cut the top off. So I made <laughs> maybe that, make a video out of it. Got the Dunk Los Sambas. Got these Kyries. We got these Sakai's. Oh, man. I actually am really into the Brazils. I had a pair, but I ended up just never wearing it, so it left the collection, unfortunately. Let's see what else we got. You guys got any suggestions? Red Octobers? Nice. Seth is the official news anchor of speakers. Sneakers. <laughs> Travis Fours. I did have Travis Fours. I'm definitely considering picking them up again. Anniversary off or anniversary Air Max Ones. Definitely a clean shoe. Um, that might actually be like one of those side cops. Like if I buy something that's crazy and then need to like drop like another 200 or have like 200 left to drop, I might grab that. Um, let's see what else we got. Sakai's, Sakai's. Ooh, fire. Fire, as my friend Ed would say. Stussy Dunks. They're dope. Love the Stussy Dunks. Oh, no way. They have the 7-Eleven Dunks. That's crazy. Look at that. 
I always thought that these weren't real. But then everyone started to get them, and then it was like, okay, I guess they are real. I, I gotta be honest, man. If this was a, sh if this wasn't a, like a crazy collab that never came out, I think people would have been like, that's not a color. Then again, every dunk right now is selling, so who knows? But I don't know, man. Not for me personally. Uh, what else we got? We got um, fear of gods. I actually don't have any fear of gods in the moment. We got the. These protros, I forgot what the name of this one is. The the white and gold one, but it's it's dope. Um, what else we got? Here, let's look at Jordan ones. I'm like a huge fan of Jordan ones. So what I'm gonna do is actually take that out. I'm gonna type in um, designer. Here we go. I'm gonna type in Jordan Air Jordan. Is it Jordan or is it? I think it's just Jordan. I don't think they put an Air Jordan in the designers. Let's try this. Yeah, it's just Jordan. I do a lot of shopping on Farfetch, so I know those things. <laughs> Uh, oh, they're the Dior's. Whew, those are crazy. Again, handmade in Italy. So as boring as I think the colorway is, the shoe itself is ridiculous quality. Like I, I get it, I understand. I've never actually held a pair either. Um, but again, uh, I'm buying a house. Like I don't know if I'm trying to <laughs> like spend a whole down payment on a shoe. <laughs> Man, it's, it makes sense. It's one of those grails that are always going to be like crazy. Um, you've got the UNCs. You've got the Tokyo Biohacks. Ooh, I actually would consider these the Unions. The Union 4s. That's a definite consideration because this is a shoe that I'm on the fence about. And uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. We'll consider it. Frag 1s. Ooh, Frag 1s would be dope. Trav 4s. Get the frags. Frags would be dope. We'll check out the frags for sure. Oh, I really love those those unions though. I don't. I don't. I like them. I like them. It's not my favorite union. Obviously, my favorite union is the Air Jordan One Union, but that's just my own personal opinion. I have these. These are sick. The the black toes. What else we got? Travis's. These are actually dope as well. Uh, ooh. I. You know what? I hate to say it, but I think I prefer the guavas. I think I prefer the guavas. I might actually grab these in eight and a half because fours for some reason could be a little bit big. Like with the off white fives, I've been grabbing them in eight and a half, even though I'm a nine. I'm sorry if I moved away from the mic. Uh, let's see what else we got. So Union LA Air Jordan fours are definitely up there. Uh, what else we got? Lobster Kyrie fours or Octobers. Unions are terrible, and I have them, but get them for retail. Fair enough. Oh man, I'm missing donations. My bad, guys. My bad. I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, from Adam Muhammad, getting Adidas Grail for old time sakes. Love for um, love from South Africa. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that donation. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, I'll definitely check out Adidas. Adidas is next on the list. Also to the 1,032 of you guys in the stream, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to save 11% on Farfetch on your first Farfetch per first Farfetch purchase, I've got a uh, discount code right below me. Seth 11, you get 11% off, but only for the next 24 hours. So if you guys want to do that, it's definitely worth checking out. I've got links in the description below to Farfetch. Um, but let's keep going. Let's keep on keeping on. Uh, let's see what else we got. I keep losing my mouse. I've got three monitors, and they're all set up in a way that like makes it really difficult to find where my mouse is. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got the Travis Scott 4s. Again, I had these, but I regret selling them. So this is a shoe that I would definitely consider. That could be a good grail pickup. Um, what else we got? Let's see, let's see, let's see. What other suggestions? Freddy Krueger dunks, Warren Lotus dunks. I'm good on Warren Lotus. <laughs> uh, Melody Ashani's, um, Adidas, Kobe 97 slam dunks, Oregon 4s. Let's see what else we got. Oh, Travis Scott 6s. That could be something. I wouldn't mind picking up some Travis Scott's. We've got, oh, I, these are dope. The Hyper Royal uh, 14s. Fire. Foya. Uh, alternate Bel Airs. I got the Sander Bel Airs. I actually got them for Farfetch. A lot of my sneaker pick uh, pickups recently have been from Farfetch. In all seriousness. Tra I got these from Farfetch as well. These from Farfetch. Um, these from Far... Wow. Almost... Wow. I'd say like 40% of my Jordans are from Farfetch. And that's... I know this this uh, stream is sponsored, but like that's not... That's not even... I'm not lying. Like that's dead serious. <laughs> Uh, the Fragment 3s, eh. eh, I don't need them, I don't really need them, uh, what else we got, um, ooh, the Paris Saint Germain, um, 
Is that how you say it? P I'm just gonna say PSG. The PSG fours I've I've wanted for a minute. This would be definitely one that I would pick up as like a side cop. So that's that's a that's a serious uh, contender. I'm gonna also delete Tinker Air Jordan three from up there because I just keep seeing it. I don't know why it's bothering me. I guess OCD or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Uh, oh crap. <laughs> okay, sorry, my screen for Farfetch is over here, so I'm looking at the website through OBS, because like, I had to move the camera around. Okay, my bad. Oops. Dang. Okay, we're going to search Jordan again. I want to go through all the Jordans before we move on to Adidas. Actually, you know what? We can do Jordan and Adidas. Should I do Yeezy as well? Adidas. Uh, let's do Adidas Originals and Yeezys. There we go. Okay. Now we got a bunch to look at. Ooh, the Azareths. Azareths. My bad. Yeah, they're pretty clean. We've got um, Carbons. Someone was saying that in the comments earlier. Cause, ooh, Cause 4s. Ooh. Actually, Spider-Man 1s I did just get from Farfetch um, last, like, last month. You guys should definitely check out that unboxing. Um, carbons are dope. Uh, Dior, Dior, Dior. Been trying to get off-white retail for retail since OG Prestos on every single release. Today I got the fives, which was insane. Congrats. Congrats. That's awesome. I was trying to say congratulations and congrats at the same time. It didn't work out. Uh, I got the Dark Con Concords as my first new cop ever. That's awesome. Congrats, man. That's sick. Uh, you've got the Earths. You've got... These are pretty dope, these ones. I never actually had a pair of these. You got the cinders. You've got the, the all white 350 V2s are actually pretty clean. I love this is my favorite Yeezy of all time. The 700 Wave Runners, love them. I also could go for a pair of Quantums. I actually don't have any Quantums. I, I sold the original pair that I had of these guys to Tom <laughs> for a video, not for a video, but because he wanted them for a video. And uh, so I, I ended up not keeping them. But now that the prices dropped so much, I might actually cop again as a side side cop. Could be a sneaker of the year. I mean, if you're really into this shoe. I love how they have half sizes now. They didn't originally. But the OG colorway is the only way to go. Um, let's see what else we got. Wu-Tang Dunks. Maybe check out the 40 Consortium pair of some Ultra Boost. So I've got Adidas selected, so hopefully we'll find some of these sooner than later. Let's see what else we got. This is just our initial search, and then we're going to start narrowing things down, which I'm excited about. Uh, ooh. Yeezy 700 V3 Alvas. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, Travis 4s are definitely up there, for sure. Oops. Keep doing that. Keep losing this mouse, man. There we go. Um, linens were nice, but they were a little bit too yellow for me, to be honest with you. I thought they were going to be more tan. Um, glows. Travis 6s. We've seen all, we've seen all these Travises. Um, what else? What else? What else? I do like the NYC to Paris's, but I just got rid of my LA to Chicago's, so I feel like if I was going to have one, the LA to Chicago's would be the one to have. Uh, what else we got? Ah, the Blorfs. <laughs> um, let's see. Ooh, I have these. I love these, the 750s. One of my favorite Yeezys that I never wear anymore, that no one really ever seems to wear anymore, actually. PSGs, I think, are going to be on the list. I'm, You know, I'm going to cart... Mm. I'm going to wait to cart these. P.S. I want to write this down somewhere, actually, so I know. Tiffany Dunks would be dope. Jordan 2s, Levi's 4s. I actually had a couple pairs of Levi's 4s, so I'm good on those. Um, Cos 4s would be dope. Cos 4s would be really, really dope. Uh, what else we got? Um, Fire Red 4s. That would be good. What else do we have? Um, Clot... Oh, these are sick. I had a pair of these, but never in my size. I'd like a pair of these in my size. The uh, reverse, or the OG Varsity Reds, I guess they're called. They have the OG Cut, too, which I really like. Not a lot of Jordan 1s have the OG Cuts. What about Satin Black Toes? I consider it. Um, not not the top of my priority list, but it's up there. Um, oh, the Trophy Room 5s. These are fire. I remember when these were going for, like, barely above retail. Like, barely above retail. And now everyone wants them because they realized how limited they were. So, I mean, I get it. They're fire. New Balance. Ooh, New Oh, why didn't I add New What am I thinking? What am I thinking? New Balance is for sure. Okay, let's see what else we got to do. Let's see if we can find... Um, here, let's just do a straight up New Balance search. I'm, I'm fiending for some New Balances right now. 
What's the New Balance Grail? Hmm. There's a couple. Really quick, let me see if I have any on my, my list of sneakers. Uh, None that I know of. I have Kith, the Kith pair on there, but that's it. Uh, the New Balance Jaden Smiths could be interesting to see. Fear of God Triple Blacks. I don't know. I had a pair of those. I don't know. I, the Fear of Gods, are, they're fine, but they're a little bulky. I wouldn't mind like the, uh, I don't know, the original pair I liked. Um, here, this is my, my probably one of my favorite shoes of the year. I actually, New Balance sent me a pair of these. Shout out to New Balance for that. Um, this pair is sick, honestly. Like a really, really sick pair of shoes. I wear it all the time. Um, this would have been a cop if I didn't already have it. What else do we have? What else do we have? We've got, ooh, the Casablancas are dope. That's definitely a, a consideration. The kits, I'm really looking for these kits now that I, I checked my list. Um, uh, what are these? The Emilion Doors. Those are sick too in the red colorway. You've got the Concepts. You've got the... Oh, here, here's some kits. Whew, fire. Samuel Stress, stress, uh, stress Schlick. Um, ALD 990V2 or 997. Thank you so much for the donation, by the way. I really appreciate that. Did I pronounce your name right? Samuel Stress Strelsh, Strelschik. Is that right? Let me know if it's right. But thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. ALD 990V2s or 997s. Definitely checking them out for sure. Um, New Balance 2002 Bembury. That's that's a cop for sure. Um, Colin J says, Only OG sneakerheads would remember this shoe and you should cop it. Nike Air Max 1 Pata Para Cherrywood. Ooh, I'll definitely check that out. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Let me just see if they have my size in this New Balance. Nine and a half. Ooh, that's a consideration. That's a consideration. Let's see it. The um, Air Max One Pata Para. I don't know if I'm familiar with it, to be honest with you. Maybe I'm not an OG sneakerhead. <laughs> uh, I know about these guys. I don't know. Is Those aren't the ones you're talking about, right? I feel like this is one of those grails that are like really, really difficult to find. I could be wrong because I don't know what they are. But <laughs> that is it. Good call, man. I mean, shoot, you got me stumped. Appreciate it, though. I appreciate the uh, donation. Thank you. Um, Benjamin Hagelin, thank you so much for the donation. I appreciate that. Farfetch prices seem really high, at least compared to Danish resale. Are those prices you look at around the same if you were to buy them for resale? Yes, they are, because Farf this is stadium goods, essentially. So, um, And stadium goods is, like I said, my go-to because they have great, uh, great, um, great, what was I going to say? Great authentication, great shipping. The prices are really decent for uh, for resale prices, and um, if you buy through Farfetch, you actually get free returns, which is sick. So definitely worth checking out. Um, New Balance 993 Studio FY, definitely worth checking out. Dornbecker AF ones, I don't remember the Dornbecker AF ones. Hold on, there was. I, I want to check the cause too, actually. Let's see, cause four. That's a shoe that I'm really interested in. Um, oof, I don't know which one I like better, the black or the gray. The, the gray pair is sick. The gray pair is really, really sick. Let's see, they have my size. They have a nine and a half. For fours, I really prefer to go down to an eight and a half or go to a nine. Gangster Ghost says, do you have a way to get shoes legit checked? Um, usually I just buy them from places like Stadium Goods or Farfetch because they have them legit checked already. Um, that's what I that's what I would do. Um, because I'm not I'm not a good legit checker myself. <laughs> Sebastian Gomez, thank you for the one ninety nine. Fear God raids friends and family colorway. Much love. That would be sick. Is that the one that's like all tan? It's like not not the uh, not the wheat colorway, but I think I know which one you're talking about. This is a very possible cop. They have an eight and a half and a nine and a half. I could probably fit the eight and a half. Let me actually, if anyone has the cause, let me know if they fit big or if they fit regular. Um. Okay. So what was the other one I was gonna look at? Oh, New Balance. We're going with New Balances for the boys. Um. Here we go. These guys are dope. That's a definite possibility. Would you guys prefer if I grab like one big grail or like a couple, like three pretty big shoes? Like what do you guys, do you guys have a preference? I'm really leaning towards, I haven't, there's no like one big grail that I really, really want. One of my grails, I have two out of three colors, Supreme Fives. Ooh, I had um some of the, uh, thank you for the donation by the way, Jalen. Really appreciate that, Jalen Big. Um, I had the camo ones. I had two pairs of the camo ones. 
um, in a size 14 and a size eight and a half. A hey, size eight. It wasn't even eight and a half. I couldn't even wear it. Um, but I really wanted the black pair. That was my favorite out of the bunch. But let's check out these New Balances again. Let's get some of these crazy New Balance collabs. We have got... Oh, are these the W taps? No. Thought it Thought it was for a second. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. More kits. These ones are sick too. Um, three. Oh, a bunch of people are saying... Is it one person saying three or is it a bunch of people saying three? I see Chris Nick saying three like every five seconds. Powerless Hero saying three. Um... Get the PSGs. Okay, maybe it... You know what? We'll go with three. We'll do three. Unless we find one dope grail, we'll go with three. We'll find three solid sneakers. Uh, I'll see which ones we should go with, though. Still looking at New Balance. Still feeling out the New Balances. This is one of my favorite pairs. The Amy Leon Doors in yellow. <sighs> Love them. Love them. Let's see. Big grail. Oh, Josh Cartwright said big grail, though. Someone said... Uh, Ethan said get the PSGs. Is that is it only Ethan saying get the PSGs? Um, Taylor Shockley, thank you so much for the four ninety nine. I really appreciate that. One of my grails are the cactus plant flea market vapor maxes. You have to look into women's to find them though. That's true. Let's see. I don't know if they'll have them in my size. I'm a size nine, so they definitely will. Um, cactus plant flea market vapor max. Let's do. Women's. There we go. Oh, what did I do? Dang, I pressed the wrong button. Chinatown Market. It's not what I wanted. Let's try CPFM Vapor Max. Ooh, they have the uh, the off white Vapor Maxes. They've got to have them because I know Stadium Goods has them. Dude, ooh, they got the OG, ooh, the O. Oh, oh man, should I start looking at some off whites, guys? I have like a problem with off white. Dean Smith, thank you so much for the two dollars. I appreciate that. I love that dancing pair. That's dope. <laughs> um, what the dunks? I mean, phew, again, bought a house. I can't afford. <laughs> I can't afford. However much they're going for, I'm sure it's like twenty something. It was. I remember back when they were when they first came out. They're going for like one or two grand. Like years ago, back when I was like only sort of aware what was going on, I wasn't like heavy into sneakers. Um, that was Keon Taylor. Thank you so much for the two ninety nine. I appreciate that. That was that was when we all should have bought pairs. Uh, hey, what about the Nike Air Max Three OG Infrared? Ooh, I don't know if they have them yet because those are mad early. CDR Productions says Jordan Three Grateful. I'll check those out. Thank you so much for the two bucks too. I appreciate that. Um, Air Max, if they had the Air Max, the Air Max 90 uh, infrareds or the Air Max 3s, I don't know if Nike's calling them infrared, I can't even spell infrared, I don't know if Nike's calling them the infrared 90s or if they're calling them the Air Max 3s, I saw Nightwing did a review where he called them the Air Max 3s, but they're so early, I don't know if anyone has them yet, like I've been on the lookout for them, but uh, I haven't, I haven't seen them, so I'm sure they'll have the 2015 pair, but I don't think they'll have the, the newer pair. Let's try the Jordan Three. Is the Jordan Three grateful? I think we already checked that one out. That was the, um, that was the, uh, what's his name, DJ Khaled pair, right? Jordan Three grateful. I hate that you guys can see what I'm typing because my spelling is trash. Um, <laughs> yeah, the blue pair. Yep. I actually really love the white cements. I do not have a pair of white cements, and I don't know when they're retroing. So this could be a definite perm, uh, definite. Um, I almost call them permanent collection. They're on my size though. Um. I have the uh, JTH white cements, which I wear on a regular basis. Mochas, um, the South Koreas are dope. Black cements, I could always double up on those. UNCs, um, let's look at off whites. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm really leaning towards some off whites. Fragment threes, I don't mind the fragment threes. I just don't love them. I just don't love them. Let's see, off white. So let me tell you some of the sneakers that I was thinking about so far, right? So here's some of the, the thoughts that we had. Um, if we were to do three sneakers, I was thinking PSGs, New Balance, Kiths, and something else. Maybe a bigger one because none of those are that big. Um, if we were going to do like one big and maybe one small, uh, maybe the Travis 4s or um, the uh, 
Maybe the Union LA Air Jordan 4s. I kind of prefer those to the... I don't know. I don't know. Um, rubber Dunks. Interesting. Oh, yeah. The Salim, uh, is it the Salim Bemberries? I, I forgot. I don't know if we have those yet. I think those just came out, didn't they? I don't know how to spell it. I'm just going to type Bembury. Okay, I definitely spelled it wrong. I'll go. I'll check it out in New Balance again. I can check like new in. But let me pull up Off White really quick. Sorry if my face keeps getting cut off. I'm like the screen setup is whack. I can't wait to look at my new office because then I'll have like this really dope new screen setup. Uh, Tim Gunner says, "Hey Seth, uh, when do the apothecary shirt ship? Big fan from Zimbabwe, but I live in North Carolina. That's awesome. Uh, thank you so much for uh, for supporting the channel and grabbing a shirt and also donating too. I really appreciate that." Um, they will be shipping very soon. Uh, I think they arrive to us on like Monday. So we should be shipping them out Monday or Tuesday, I think. Um, we've had some shipping issues recently with, uh, with the people that we're working with, but the shirt should be on time. So look for them this week. Look for them this week. Thank you again for the donation, by the way. I really appreciate that. Um, Cactus Plant Vapor Maxes. Let me just type in that, see if that comes up. I wonder if it'll come up in men. Cactus Plant. Let's try Cactus Plant. Oh, they have flower vases. Oh, they got... Ooh, that Palm Angels cactus sock is dope. Man, I can't start looking at clothing because then I'm going to buy like a bunch of clothing instead of shoes. <laughs> it might happen. I don't know. Okay, so let's <laughs> let's finally get to the off-whites. Off-white, here we go. Nike off-white. Okay, here we go. So we've got off-white dunks. We've got the Prestos. I've wanted a pair of the black or white Prestos for forever. I have the OG Prestos, which I love. Um, Zoom flies are dope. Really like those. I really like those in black, actually. I think I prefer them in black over the the OG colorway. The fives, love, uh, dude. I this I would double up on this shoe. Like I I just got the I actually just bought the white pair from Stadium Goods and I just did a review. Um, so that I guess technically is my double up, but that black pair is is fire. Um, the Air Max ninety sevens. This is the is it who was it Vanessa? Is it is it the tennis player or is it just a blue or just um. Uh, a women's inspired shoe. I'm not sure exactly, but definitely a consideration. Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? We've got the black pair. We've got, ooh, this one's sick too. Now, I don't remember which one this is for. See, they don't have size 9, unfortunately. Okay, so that one's out. Um, let's see. We've got um, Off-White Air Force Ones. I have these guys. I had these guys for a while. I had these guys for a while. I might actually re-up on these. Or, ooh, these blazers are sick. I would actually definitely consider these too. They have a size nine. They do, and a size eight and a half. I'd probably go with nine on these ones. Um, Scott Kaplan, thank you so much for the one ninety nine. I appreciate that. Uh, size ten AJ one mochas are six ten on stage. Are they really? I didn't realize. Well, they haven't. Come, once they come out, I'm sure they'll drop in price for sure. Uh, Tim Tazlar says. One euro. Thank you so much for the one euro. I appreciate that. You didn't say one euro. You donated. Thank you so much for the donation, man. I really appreciate that. Guys, for the 1,262 of you guys in the stream today, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Also, make sure to give me a follow on Instagram and on Twitter at Real Seth Fowler. I'm going to take a sip of water because I'm talking really fast and my throat's starting to dry out. Also, make sure to check out the sponsor of today's stream, Farfetch. There are links in the description below. And if you use my code Seth11, you get 11% off your first purchase, only valid for the next 24 hours. So grab anything from Stadium Goods, 11% off. If you go through Farfetch, it's worth checking out and free returns. It's dope. It's worth it. Uh, okay, so we could go crazy and buy a Vapormax. Oh. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know why he was even joking about it. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what else we got. Um, we've got the... Oh, the ones are sick. The black presses are fire. Am I... I don't know if my internet's crapping out on me. Um, Michael Welsh, thank you for the four ninety nine. I appreciate that. Hey Seth, I was wondering if you'd start doing life updates. Wear a pair of kicks for a while, at least a month, and then give an update. I can definitely do that. Um, I, I've done it a little bit in the past. I felt a little bit bad because I feel I felt like I was kind of copying Hess kicks and um, Foamer. But I would I would be if you guys were interested in seeing that, I could definitely do it. This is a definite contender. Definite these Prestos. Definite contender. 
Now it's, I don't know why my internet was so trash for a second. I was trying to click on something and then like nothing was loading and the screen was like a little jittery. <sighs> I hate when that happens right in the middle of a live stream. Okay. Uh, ooh, these blazers are dope. These blazers, this, this, out of all the off-white shoes, I think this, this pair might be the one that I would consider right now. Nine and a half. I think I could fit nine and a half in these. Or an eight and a half. Um, let's see what else we got. Colin J, thank you for the donation. I really appreciate that. You should do a collab on your shoe with Bodega. That's a cool idea, actually. That's a cool idea. Thank you for the donation, by the way. Appreciate that. Um, we got the OG pair right here, which you guys can't see because my head's in, my stupid fat head's in the way. <laughs> we got the OG Prestos. Uh, we've got the OG Vapor Maxes. Very nice. And I think that's all the off-white shoes. We got the off-white Blazers, UNC Ones. I think I'm good on off-whites. I think an off-white will not be a cop. I think we've decided that. So there will no not we will not be buying any off-whites today. Let's see. Any other suggestions? Kobe 8. Let's check Kobe's. I'd like to see some Kobe's. I like I said, I don't have any Kobe's right now. I was never like a huge, huge Kobe fan. I've always respected him, obviously. And uh um I would I would just like to own a piece of Kobe history, to be honest with you. So I could definitely pick up a pair of Kobe's. Now, what Kobe would I... I'm sorry. I keep looking at this screen instead of this screen. There we go. This screen's better. Um, which Kobe should I cop? I had a couple of the Fade to Blacks back when they first released. Mm, I like some of the Protros. How much are the Grinches? Do they have the Grinches? Kayvon Washington. Thank you so much for the $4.99. I really appreciate that. Glad I could watch the stream. What's your budget and what one shoe would you buy if you had a limitless budget? So my budget for today, I think, is around two grand. So we can we can get a, a couple smaller things. We could get like four or $500 shoes, which is... Can't complain. <laughs> or like one crazy shoe. Um, if I had an unlimited budget, probably a Nike Air Yeezy. Like a Nike Air Yeezy too. Let me, um, ooh, I feel like this is a bad idea, but I'm going to go check out, I'm not going to look at the Nike Air Yeezy 2s, because I know there's just no way that I'm going to be able to afford one of those, but I am going to check out the, um, the Yeezy 1s. If I can grab a, if I can grab a Yeezy 1, I'll do it, straight up. Like, I don't, pff, straight up. I was on sale, too. Dang, no size. No size for Seth. Six shoe, though. Uh, okay, so maybe I, let me cart some shoes. Let, let's uh, let's start carting some shoes. Oh, look at those! those are crazy. Um, let's see. Again, crazy blinks. Let's cart the PSGs because we know we want those. Everyone was seeming to be down with PSGs. I wonder what happens if I just type in PSG. Well, not the shoes that I wanted don't come up. <laughs> Jordan Four PSG. Let's just type in Jordan Four. See what happens. The what this? Again. Man, I don't know if you guys saw my review. Tyson uh, Slother. Slother? Slother. I'm so sorry for butchering your last name, man. Uh, Tyson, thank you so much for the donation. I really appreciate that. If you get the Hallow's Eve Blazers, I get a half size up. I got my size, and they were really tight in my feet. Well, perfect. They had a size 9.5, so that actually is a good call. That is a good call. I might do that. Um, thank you again for the uh, donation, man. I really appreciate that. Um, oh, Travis Fours. That would be a big cop. If I was going to do this, this would be a big cop. I'd probably go with the eight and a half because four is, for some reason, fours and fives. I like going down half a size. Honestly, thinking about it, <laughs> I might actually be at eight and a half. I haven't measured my feet in forever. And I feel like there's enough shoes in eight and a half that I really like the fit of that um, I would, I would, I'm going to add it to cart. I'm going to add it to cart for now that, uh, that I need, maybe need to consider. <laughs> Remeasuring my feet. I shouldn't have admitted that. Uh, let's see what else we got. We got, um, I was looking for the PSGs and I added another shooting cart. Ooh. Leo Hartle, thank you so much for the 349. Did you own the Jordan 1 Turbo Green? Those are dope. I have not owned those. That's a good shoe to consider. I didn't own those. I, that's a good call. I, I might actually put those in cart too. These guys are definitely, I would consider these. Um, again, eight and a half is probably a move. Let's add these guys. I think I prefer the guavas to the black pair, to be honest with you. So we're going to add just a bunch of stuff. We're going we're gonna to rack up like a 20k cart, and then we're going to pare it down to what we want. Um, let's see. This is so much fun. I'm having a blast, guys. Ooh, the black pair is cheaper. I could get more shoes. Let's add the black pair. Mm. 
That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Card the guava. I carded the guava and the black pair. Uh, and the Travis's. <laughs> oh, here are the PSGs. There we go. This is a shoe. I don't know if you guys know my friend OT Dub, but he's obsessed with these shoes, and I I get it. I'm obsessed with them as well. Carting these bad boys. This is probably, like, no matter what shoe I think I end up with, I think I'm grabbing these regardless. Just regard straight up. I, I love this shoe. It's such a sick sneaker. Um, do you guys have any other suggestions? Denim Air Max 1s. They're, they're nice. They're nice. Uh, check out the Adidas Night Jogger. I've had a couple pair of those. I like those a lot. Jordan 3 Mochas are dope. Um, okay, what else? We've got the Retro Mo Motorsports. Let me slide forward a little bit so you guys can see me. One of my first Jordan 4s, actually. The, the Legend Blue 4s. Um, Levi's 4s have had those. Uh, Fire Red 4s. Aren't those Retro Wing? They're coming out like later this... Did they just restock? They just dropped on sneakers. And oh, wait. Is this the new one? Hold up. Hold up. Is this the new one? If this is the 2021. I'm getting it so I can do a review. Is this the 2021? I'm not sure. Oh, man. Probably not, cause it, well, it, even if it was, like it's not my size. That stinks, man. If that was the 2021 instant cop, gotta get that review out. <laughs> uh, what else? Um, try the Nike Stargazers, Easy 500 highs, twos. I do need a pair of twos in my collection. I, I, as you guys might remember, I um did uh did like. I don't know, a video, a couple, a little, actually, I think it was a far-fetched unboxing, but I mentioned that I'm trying to grab all the OG um, Air Jordan 1 colorway, or Air Jordan colorways from like 1s through 14s, sorry for hitting the mic, uh, Eddie Castillo, Castillo, thank you so much for the $5, man, I really appreciate that, love your content, keep it up, man, definitely keeping me sane at Rice, <laughs> thank you so much, man, for watching, I really appreciate that, seriously, thank you for the donation, and thank you for supporting the channel, it really means a lot, it really does, um, okay, so, what else we got? I was actually only planning to stream for an hour, but I think we're going to go to like at least an hour and a half because I'm having a blast and you guys seem to be enjoying it. I'm really happy you guys are here, so thank you guys for doing that. Um, okay, let's see. Let us see. We got the, oh man, the Union ones. I'm so happy I grabbed these. Those are such a sick shoe. I, I actually wore the, the blue Unions when I proposed to my wife and then I wore them again at my rehearsal dinner. I've worn them a bunch, like for some reason, like not even on purpose. <laughs> like, like around getting married. I wore the Travis ones for my uh, engagement shoot too. So I'm just I'm obsessed with ones. You guys know that. Let's see what else we got. Uh, ooh, Shanghai Fives. That's a Grail. That is a Grail for sure. Uh, I'm sorry, I keep looking at the, far, the wrong screen. Let's see. Ooh, is this the what is it? What pack is it? DM, DMP. I don't remember which pack that is. Let's see. What did I? T I just typed in Jordan Four. We've carded the Jordan 4s we wanted. Let me, um, what was another shoe that we were thinking about? Toro Bravos are dope. Let me add the, uh, let me add the, let's go back to New Balance again. Let's hit up New Balance. I think I'm going to add those Kith, that Kith bear, because last time I was shopping on Farfetch, I was looking at those, and I was really considering them, and I think now I'm just going to straight up just go ahead and do it. Especially if we, like, end up grabbing, like, like, three or four pretty, like, big shoes, but nothing, like, crazy. I mean, they're all crazy in general, but... Ooh, Bill Haddam says, where do you think the Ravens will finish? Thank you for the 199, by the way. Appreciate that. I think we're going for a Super Bowl. I think we're going for the, uh, for the, for the, for all, what am I trying to say? I think we're going to win it. <laughs> I think this is Lamar's year. I think we built a really great team, and I think our team is ready to win. The only thing that stands in our way, because Steelers aren't going to be a problem on Sunday. I'm just telling you. Here's the thing, right? I, I shouldn't, I'll, we'll, we'll talk about this in a different stream. Go Ravens. Thank you, Mr. W. Appreciate that. Um, here's the thing. Oh, I'm out of focus. Come on, my friend. Let's get back up. There we go. Here's the thing. Not many undefeated teams left in the uh, the league right now, and I think they're all kind of due to be knocked down a peg. Or at least the Steelers are, and I think they will be knocked down a peg. So, so calling it like it is. <laughs> Let me add these guys. Um, nine and a half. I don't. I don't. I don't know how these fit, but I'm assuming a nine and a, and again. One of the best things about Farfetch is the free 14-day returns. And uh, they have some, literally, when you want to return something, you go to farfetch.com, you set up a time for someone to come pick it up, and they literally pick it up from you, um, which is great. You don't have to, like, usually when you return something, like, I don't know, say you buy a pair of Nikes from Nike, uh, you have to, like, go to a UPS store, and just it's, it's a hassle. But Farfetch makes it easy for you. 
Uh, Ducking Llama, thank you for the $5. Appreciate that. Which off-white five do you prefer? I was able to cop the sale pair today, but I still want the gray pair. Also recommend the Sean Witherspoon A6. Good call on the A6, by the way. I love the fives in general, so I think you can't go wrong with either. Personally, I think I prefer the gray pair because it's more more wearable. I don't love how yellow the white pair is, but the sale pair, but I think they're both great shoes. I would be happy with either. Um, if you're going to keep one, I would say just honestly, maybe even just hold on to the sales. I think they're worth it. I love that shoe so much. Just the off-white fives in general. Maybe that sneaker of the year for me. Um, honestly, like, I love it. Let's see. Oh, the Kiths again. I might actually add the other Kiths too because I'm kind of into these. These guys. Let's, is there a quick? There's. I know there's a way to quick view. Let's just click on it. I actually think I might prefer the... Oh, I think I might actually prefer these to the other ones. Um, I think they're also a lot more limited too. Not that it matters, but... I remember reading somewhere that they were. Salmon Colored Doncy 2s. That was actually one of the first shoes that I reviewed on my channel. If you guys want to check that video out. It's it's funny because back when I first started doing reviews, Dan, what's up? Dan Freebaron, it's good to see you, man. Um, search all the shoes above 15K. You know what? We will do that. As soon as I'm done looking at New Balances, we're going to look at the most expensive shoes. Um, it's going to be stuff like Mags, and it's going to be Dior's for sure. Probably some Dunks up there, like What the Dunks. Whatever uh, Stadium Goods has in their... Um, their uh their little trophy room the oh the W taps that's a dope shoe I love it it's out of stock huh okay that's okay I wasn't I wasn't gonna drop seventeen hundred on it anyway I love it but I, I mean I have some nine nine twos that I, I'm happy with um okay so what else were we looking for I keep looking at the wrong screen my bad guys these are sick these bodegas I have the other twos I might actually pick these up um. Do, 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 do. I just got a text, actually. Dan just texted me. Let's see. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we'll do that in a second. Um, I think that's all the New Balances. I think I'm happy with the New Balances that we have. Let's go to let's let's go with the suggestion and look at the most expensive shoes. I know it's gonna be. I, I, he showed me. He sent me a text. And he showed me what they were. But it's gonna be Mags. It's gonna be uh, um, Yeezys. It's gonna be price high to low. Here we go. We'll look at the Grail of the Grails. Whew, the Louis Vuittons, the Louis Vuitton Kanye Jaspers. It's a Yeezy at number one. Then you got the Fila T1 mids. PlayStation Info, thank you so much for the uh, the two euro. Greetings from Germany and thanks for your videos. Thank you for donating. Thank you for supporting the channel. I appreciate that. Oh, I missed um Eunice Gunis. Or I'm so sorry for mispronouncing your name. Um, are you hopping on the vintage J1 train soon? I'd love to, but that's a train that I'm afraid if I hop on, I'm never going to be able to hop off of and I'm just going to drop my life savings on it. I, I just can't do it. <laughs> okay, so we've got the Dunks, obviously. That's a major grail. I wish my head's in, my stupid fat head's in the way. The uh, the what the Dunks. You've got the Mags. You've got the undefeated Dunk Highs. You've got the Dior's. Of course, you've got the Dons, or not Donsies, the uh, DJ Khaled's. LeBron 9 Championship Packs, Off-White. This is the one shoe on this list of insane grails that I have. And my pair is signed by Virgil, so it's, it's a grail, baby. It's a grail, baby. Um, we've got the uh, 420 Dunks. Some off, oh, the off-white, um, is that not the MCA? That's the, uh, forget which museum that one's for. You've got the Mars Yards, more Dior's, 7-Eleven Dunks, makes sense. Air Yeezys, makes sense. Don C's. I actually, are these Miami? I don't know what those are. Uh, the MoMA's, the Fragments, whew, that is a huge grail for me. Jimmy Choo, didn't know about that shoe. Philippe Pleen, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, some sample Pharrell's. Some more sample Pharrell's. The orange Grateful Deads. Are those a friends and family? I don't know. Friends and family um, Pharrell's. Jordan 1 friends and families. South Korea's. There's a lot of dope sneakers here. A lot of dope shoes. Ooh. Tiffany Dunks. Nice. OG 750s. I'm surprised they're still going for as much as they are. The 750s are really kind of dying down in popularity, I think. Like, pretty significantly. Um, now let's go back. I want to I want to add some more. I want to cop some more sneakers. So let's go to um What was some other? Do you guys remember what shoes I was looking at? Kanye Kanye. <laughs> uh sh I don't remember. 90 minute deli they have 90 minute delivery to New York. That's sick. Yo, if you're in New York, they got 90 minute delivery and you can use my code Seth11 for 11% off. Definitely check it out. I'm just going to straight up go for Jordan 1s. That's my favorite shoe of all time. I'm going to go for a Jordan 1. I'm going to see what they got. I copped these Spider-Mans last time. 
Air Jordan 1. So this time maybe I'll cop something uh, less less crazy. Uh, so many good things here. So many good things. Ooh. Oh, I might do this. How would you guys feel if I didn't tell you what shoes? Oh. What if I didn't tell you guys what shoes I was copping? I'll show you the shoes in the cart, but I'll only cop. I won't tell you. Oh, I'm going to do that. Oh, man. I'm going to do an unboxing video of the sneakers that I buy in this live stream. And I'm not going to tell you guys what they are. I'm going to show you what's in the cart so you'll know what sneakers they could be. But, like, I'm going to cart all the shoes that I'm considering. Uh, Gangster Ghost, thank you so much for the two bucks. Would you ever rock fake shoes? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I, it's not like. I, ethically, I just I'm not I just don't I just don't agree with it. I mean, it's nothing. I'm, I'm like nothing against you if you do. It's just personally, it's one of those things that I just wouldn't do. But that's just me. You can do whatever you want. Um, so what I'll do is I'll add a bunch to my cart, and then I'll cop only shoes in the cart, and I won't tell. Ooh, the UNC ones are so fire. Um, I won't tell you guys what shoes I'm copping. I'll just show you guys what's, what are in the cart. That's that's gonna be the move. That's the move. Then I'll do an unboxing video next week because shipping is mad fast. Shout out to Farfetch again. Paolo, what's good? Uh, shipping is mad fast, so next week we'll have an unboxing video, and I'll show you guys all the goodness that we uh, that we got. So let's see. Um, the Kawhis are dope, but like I feel like that mirror finish would get kind of messed up after a while. Um, t -t 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 oh, there was those other Jordan ones that I really liked that I've bought before, but I've never gotten them in my size. The Jordan One Eighty Fives. Um. T -t 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 Colette ones, ha, <laughs> yeah. I I wasn't laughing at you. Uh, just they're expensive. <laughs> 4D, bro. I go with some 40s. Uh, you got the Dior's, Nigel Sylvester, some more Dior's. Satin ones, ooh, Storm Blues. I I actually got these, and I remember when they first released, no one was into them, and now everyone's hype on them. So like. I, I don't know about that. These are fire. The Eric Costins. Ooh, this is a consideration for sure. I'm gonna cart this one. I'm definitely carting that one. Oh man, the bag is looking good. So we've got, we've got the Jordan One Eric Costins. We've got Kith 1700s. We've got the Travis Scott Ford. Ooh, I'm missing it. Uh, Eunice, how do you feel about Macklemore Wings? Macklemore Wings. Is it? Oh my God. Is it? Is it a song? Am I? I'm so stupid. I don't know. Is it a shoe? Is it, the, is it the Macklemore shoe? I'm so sorry. Thank you for the donation. Either way, anyway, I'm almost 30, man. My pop culture is starting, my pop culture references is starting to get like really bad. Like I'm not a dad, but I feel like one <laughs> with, with how bad my references are. Oh man. Uh, okay, so let me let me continue going through the, the shopping cart right now. We've got PSG 4s. We've got Union Off-White 4s in both colorways. Uh, I think I'd probably go with the black pair because they have my size in that one. It's a little bit cheaper, and then I could cut more shoes. That might be the move. Uh, these, again, fire. Huge, big fire. And if I got those Union 4s, I'd cut the uh, the top on them. What about some AJ3s? I, I was looking at some AJ3s earlier. There was nothing I was really like that crazy on. Chicago ones, got a pair of those. Obsessed with those. What else do we have? Let's see. Um, fragments. <laughs> I wish. Um, ooh, Dornbecker ones. I wouldn't wear them, but that'd be a nice piece to add to the collection, just as like a display piece, I guess. But I feel like I want to grab shoes that I actually would wear. Um, Quant. Oh yeah, Quantums. Good call, DJ thirty, DJ twenty three, like the goat. Good call. I wanted to add the Quantums. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go back through these ones again. But yeah, that's true. Quantums. Good call because that was a shoe that I really wanted to grab. Um, and I'm gonna go with. Oh, UK9. So, uh, let's, let's calculate my size. Oh, wait. If you typically buy an eight and a half, wait, size guide. Hold on. I'm really bad with US to UK conversion. Let's do US. US woman? Is this woman sizes? Oh, US man here. Pff, I'm so stupid. What was I talking about? Okay, so, size guide. Here we go. So, a size nine would be eight. It would be eight and a half. Okay. Um,. Should I go nine and a half? No, I feel like I feel like I should go with the yeah. That's what we'll do. Quantum Turbo Greens, good call on that one. Uh, let me go back to the ones again. I'm really feeling these ones. I like the direction that we're going with the ones. 
Dean Smith, hey man, love your stuff, been here since 200k. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you sticking with the channel. Thank you so much. Thank you for the $2 donation, too. I really appreciate that. Uh, okay, so let's let's go back. Oh, I typed in with the ones with an S afterwards. Where's my mouse at? This is ridiculous. There we go. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it. Okay, I feel like we're narrowing in on the ones that we're going to get. Um, or at least, like, a decent list. This is going to be great for the people who watch this stream in like a week after the unboxing's out. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description once the unboxing's out. So you guys can literally go and see it right away. Because I don't even know what I'm going to be grabbing right now. But in a week, you will know. So, probably a week. I would assume it'll be a, probably less than a week. Because shipping's really fast. It just depends on if I can actually make the video in time. <laughs> Depending on what's all this moving. Um, sorry, I keep... Again, man, i got to look forward. With my new office, I'm going to have this dope desk set up. It's going to have the camera right in the middle. I'm going to have like this L shape. It's going to be sick. Um, really excited for that. Okay, so. Man, I don't know. I feel like I'm good on ones right now. Jordan 1 Lance Mountains. I don't know. I don't know. Soul Flies will be dope. Nothing against Lance Mountains. I just don't know if I need them. Uh, where's my oh man? It's so annoying with his mouse. There we go. Okay. Um. Oh, here they, these. I wanted to add these ones too. I want to get these in a size nine if they have a size nine. If they don't have a size nine, it solves that problem. Size nine, adding it. Now I don't remember how those fit, so I think a size nine's fine. Man, I'm adding like every shoe to the cart. You guys are gonna have no idea what I'm gonna pick. <laughs> Here, what was the other? Let's just go to Jordan's really quick because I feel like Jordan won Knicks. Leo Hartle, thank you so much again for donating. Still rooting for the Turbo Green. Got you. I'll add it. I'll add it. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I keep I keep hearing that. Oh, you keep saying that, and I keep forgetting to to type it in. So my bad. Okay, this mouse, dude. Turbo Green. We're gonna add it. Oh, it's a good price too. Ooh. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Oh, whoa. Okay. I would like to add it. What? What? Which one was it? Oh, size 18. It is a dope sneaker, but I don't know if I like it that much. I think I prefer the unions. Um, let's see. There's a lot of green shoes here. Let's type in Travis Scott too. Damn, I got a seven thousand dollar cart right now. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should stop uh, stop adding stuff. Travis Scott. Should I go like do something crazy and get something like a Balenciaga? I don't know. Maybe that's a bad call. Um, okay, Travis Scott sixes, fours. Should I add the Cactus Jack Air Force ones? Kentucky eights. Jordan four. What does Pantone elevens? I used to have the Pantone elevens actually. Midnight maybe Kodai JPs. I don't know if they have them yet. Um, um. Let me add these Air Force ones too. Just because I, I really like these a lot. Size 9, put your boy. Okay. We're going to do one more just sweep of everything. And then we're going to look at the cart and pretty much finish things off, I think. So we're going to do one more sweep of sneakers. Any 11s? I'm good on 11s right now, I think. Oh, Jordan 2s. My bad, my dude. My bad. Now, I want to get if I'm going to grab a Jordan 2, I want it to be the OG colorway, which I think is white and red. Let me know if I'm wrong about that. Um... I think it's this colorway, but in the high top variant. Oh, man. Ooh. The Dawn C2 is in blue. That is a fire shoe. I missed that shoe. I don't know if I want it that bad, though. I don't know if, like, I, I, it's one of those shoes that I think it's harder to rock now because, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not, not in love with it as much as I used to be. Uh, let's see. We do have these guys. These are fire, but they don't have my size. Um, what else? This is so much fun. <laughs> I'm like having a really good time. These 14s are sick. I love these. Ben and Jerry's Dunks, says Pal. I looked at them earlier. I was considering it, but it's a really hard shoe to wear. Um, okay, what? What's the OG 13? Is it the black and reds? I think it is. I'm trying to get the OG colorways. Where is my mouse at? Ridiculous. Um, you know what I would like? I would really like those Dornbecker 9s for some reason. I don't know why I'm so into those shoes, but the Dornbecker 9s would be clean. Grateful Dead Dunks. 
Seth Dab for us. Absolutely not. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed a donation from, uh, is it LFEU? IFU? Blue Moons or Clay Green Ones. Good call on that one. I really do like those shoes a lot. Um, I haven't seen them. If we see them, I'll look at the prices. Let's see. we got Bread Toes. We've got... Oh, wait. Did I just pass the... No. Uh, I feel like I'm pretty happy with what we've added so far. I feel like there's nothing really that I'm like missing. Uh, you know what I might do? I might actually go to like at newest added to see if there's any like early stuff. Because I think I've actually copped all the early stuff off stadium goods. <laughs> Ooh, they have the Supreme Fives. We were talking about that earlier. That would be a shoe that I would pick up, especially in the black colorway. I think that was the most limited colorway too. Um, let us see. These PSGs are so far. I'm so stoked on these, man. So stoked. University, Purple Lobsters, uh, AJ5, Retro Supreme. Yep. Looking at those. To the 1,213 of you guys in the stream, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to check out Farfetch. The link's in the description below. And use code SETH11 for 11% off. Valid only for 24 hours. So that's the one thing. If you watch this stream in a week, you'll know what shoes I'm getting, but you won't be able to use the discount code, unfortunately. Um, what else? UNCs are fire. Fire? Fire? What, what am I doing? <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Um, ooh, here we go. 2017 breads. It's going to be a while before they retro these again, huh? Uh, dang. I would really like to grab these in a nine, to be honest with you. I would really like to have these in nine. We're gonna wait on these. Uh, Brooklyn Brokoff, thank you so much for the 1099. I appreciate that, man. Much love for Amsterdam. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and watching. I really appreciate that. That's so awesome. Man, you guys are the best. I love you guys. Especially you, Brooklyn. Appreciate you. Okay, let's see. Um, what was the, what were the other sneakers? Were there any other sneakers that we were considering that I didn't? Look up. Let's go to um, sneakers one last time. Let's go to, let's sort by newest in. Newest first. Man, I'm not, I'm not like a huge designer sneaker guy. Like, I'll rock them. But I just prefer like a nice, ooh, CDG Converse would be nice. These Premiatas, I've never heard of Premiata before, but I like the paneling on the side of that shoe. That's pretty sick. Um... Hmm. Balenciagas. Ooh. Akron Prestos. Classic. This one's my favorite color out of the bunch. Or maybe, no, this one is. <laughs> uh, they're so similar. Let's see. I don't know. Let's go to um. Hmm. Oh, the I, so someone mentioned these in a, in a lot in a in a video in my comments. They're like you never talk about these converses on your sitter cells. And I've never, I've never heard of these, so I looked them up. It's the the Fen, Feng Cheng Wen, Wang uh, high top sneakers Converse. They're fire. I like them. I'd never heard about them before. Tear blood, yo! Thank you so much for tuning in, man. Yo, you're always dropping these crazy donations, man. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Seriously, thank you, man. Um, Jack Darling, thank you for the four ninety nine. Yo, Seth, I'm trying to pick up some Jordan ones or some Dunks for three fifty to four hundred. What should I grab? Ooh. Well, right now, if you use my discount code, <laughs> I'll stop saying that. But uh, it is a sponsored video, so I'll keep saying it. But <laughs> um, honestly, like, I would pick up some of the newer stuff because there's some really good new stuff coming out. You got the Mochas coming out sooner than later. Um, you've got, I don't know, man. Dunk wise, let's look at dunks. That's one thing I haven't gone through yet. Um, let's see. Dunks. Dang. Dang. Dang, bro. I just typed in dang. I'm, like, I'm so stupid. Dunks. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what was that? Um, 13s. Good call on that. Uh, okay, let's see. So, okay. So, here's some dunks. Uh, you could grab the Blazers in the Brazil Blazers. You these are, I love these. The Syracuse dunks. Fire. The Champ colors are good, too. Um, what else? Lobsters are dope. The Viotechs are sick. What are these? The Dunkle Premium? I've never seen these ones before. I have no idea what these are, but they look cool. Um, what else do we have? It's crazy. Like, some of these Dunks weren't even popular, like, five years ago. And now they're going for crazy money. It's it's nuts, like, how much Dunks have kind of... Uh, you know, I do really like the uh, the Paras. Um, not enough to cop, 
but I do like them a lot. What else do we have? Anthony Hollis, thank you for the five euro. Would you be uh, would you be willing to work out a deal for my new sneaker raffle account? Um, contact me via uh, business at Seth Fowler Media. It's the email. Um, I have my manager handles all that sort of stuff. So you'll you'll be uh, speaking with him. But that's I think you can find it through my um, if you go to my community tab or if you go to my any of my Instagram accounts. Um, but thank you so much for donating, man. I really appreciate that, Anthony. Um, ooh, I love the Tiffany High Dunks. I, I had a pair of these in a size 10 years ago. Should I add them? I'm going to add them. I'm, I'm adding them. Nine and a half. I can fit a nine and a half. Man, dude, I, uh, I'm i really going a little crazy. Oh, the Kobe's. Let me, pull up, let me pull up Kobe, too. And then we'll look over. Once we've done it, 720. So I'm going to try and end the stream by 730. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a Kobe. And then we're going to go through all the uh, the things that we that we went through. And if there's anything that you guys, I'll let you guys vote. <laughs> and see what you guys think. So I'm I'm really leaning towards. I had these Milwaukee these um, Milwaukee Bucks Kobe's for a while, but I I don't know, man. Like I really want like a Kobe Kobe. You know, are these the undefeated Kobe's? I forget what these are. Is that my size? They do. How did these fit? Do you guys know how the Kobe Five Pro Tros fit? I have no idea. I have no idea what colorway this is too. I'm I'm not great with that. Um, if that, if I can fit an eight and a half, I will. But if I is it the the Kobe dunk contest? I don't know. But that's definitely up there. That's you know what? Screw it. I'll add it. Oh, it changed. All right. Uh, Kobe five pro try. I really like that green one a lot. So when I see it again, I'm gonna add it. Here we go. Here we go. Um, OVO sneakers would be dope. Let's add the. Let's go with the eight and a half because I think I can fit an eight and a half. Maybe I can't. Let me know. Small. They fit small. Dang. Okay. I'm gonna go back. And edit that and make that the nine, the nine and a half. I wish they had a size nine, but that's what happens with uh, slight. I guess they're not really like older, older sneakers, but let's see. It's a popular shoe, so people want it. I get it. I understand. That makes sense why they would fit small. It's it's like a tech sneaker. That makes sense. Um, what else we got? I dude, this is like this shoe right here. These these protros they were sitting in Foot Locker for months, months. I should have just oh man, it is what it is. Uh, you got some Lebrons for some reason. Um, oh, it's switching to other sneakers. I was like, I typed in Kobe and the Lebrons came up. Okay, uh, I feel like, I feel like that's that's everything that I'm really, really interested in. Was there anything else? Let's let's look up Sakai. Let me look up Sakai really quick. Sakai. Dunk High SB Supreme. Yeah, those look crazy, by the way. Uh, let's go to shoes. Okay, this mouse, dude. Honestly, like next time I stream, I'm going to have one monitor. <laughs> it's going to be very difficult, but it's going to be... Okay, it's Sakai Nike, isn't it? The Retro Wiz Kit was good, man. Go half size up. Perfect. Then 9.5 would be perfect. That's what I'll do then. Sean Witherspoon's actually got a pair of those. Um, dang. Okay, we're going to do one more quick. JM, thank you for the $1. I appreciate that. We're going to do one more quick um, search. I'm going to type in Nike. We have... I'll add Off-White in there, too. Oh, no, because Off-White will still come up. We'll type in Adidas. Uh, Adidas Originals. Adidas Yeezy. We will type in New Balance. We're going to type in everything. Everything's getting put in for this last thing. And then we're going to type in Jordan. Okay. Now we've got everything. The search is going to be big. Let's go by newest first. I want to see these newest sneakers. So you got some Prestos. You got some Yeezys. Nice new balances up those. Pretty clean. I feel like the selection that we have in the cart, though, is pretty solid. I already have you. Like, PSGs I'm stoked on. I'm, I'm definitely... I mean, I shouldn't say that. I... Unless like there's unless I just randomly oh no I don't think there's any sneakers I don't think there's any shoe in the, in my cart that I like would buy and not be able to buy those PSGs I think with the with the credit limit I have I think I'm the the far fetched credit I have I, I think it'd be good not my credit card limit <laughs> um, let's see okay I got some decent stuff decent stuff unions I, I got both unions carded. Got both unions carded. I really like the guavas, though. I, 
I'm really leaning towards Iguales over the the black pair, which is crazy because when they first dropped, I, I wasn't really like feeling the Guava pair, but the more that I look at it, and this is such like a hype beast thing to say, but the more that I look at it, the more that I'm, I'm really leaning towards it. Nathan S., thank you so much for the $15. I really appreciate that. So if my girl wanted me to donate to let you know that she won the new purple Venom, purple and Venom Jordan 1 Zooms that dropped today. Have a good one, my friend. Yo, congratulations on those. That's awesome. Those those shoes are sick, for sure. Um, seriously, thank you so much for donating and supporting the channel. I appreciate both you and your girlfriend, Nathan. Thank you guys so much. Congrats on winning those sneakers. Those are sick. You guys are the best. It's, it's because of you guys I'm able to do this for a living. And, and if it wasn't for you guys, I, I don't know. This is like the craziest thing ever. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. And I mean it. Like, I'm not I'm not BSing. Like, that's genuine. <laughs> that's serious. Um, okay, but back to it. Let's see. Um, we got the... The Retro Wiz Kid says, yeah, I like them over the black pair as well. Yeah, I, the black pair is not bad, and especially with the tongue up, I'm into it. Um, let's see. I feel like I'm pretty good on everything. Out of everything new in... Yeah, I think I'm... Uh, 17 pages, there's a lot to see. They got a lot of selection. Um, I really, you know what, I was going to get those off-white rubber dunks for a video, but I don't like them enough to actually wear them, so I won't be getting them. <laughs> uh, did I not, I didn't, dang. Let's, let's uh, go to page three. What other sneakers do I need for my Jordan list? You know what? I think I'm happy with it. I think let's just go through the let's go through the cart. The nine the nine thousand dollars. We were shopping today, guys. We were getting crazy. Okay, so we'll take a look at everything in the cart. And like I said, I'm just gonna order whatever it is, whatever sneakers I can for the credit that I have. And um, I'm not gonna tell you guys which sneakers that I get. And we're gonna do an unboxing video coming up. So um, stay tuned for that. It'll probably based on this is not like I know this video is sponsored, but like honestly, um, their shipping is ridiculously fast. Uh, Nathan S says, go for the blue raspberry 387 NBs tomorrow. Ooh, I, I, I don't want to ruin a video coming up, but I may or might not, may or might not, ugh, wow, how can I not say that? May or may not already have them. Okay, so really quick, going through these sneakers, we've got the Kobe 5s, the Pro Tros, we've got these Dunk Highs, which, man, I should have held on to these when I got them in like 2014. Travis Scott Air Forces, we've got the Jordan 1 High Varsity Reds, we've got the Yeezy Quantums, we've got the Eric Costin ones, which are so sick, we've got the Kit, I mean, oh man, I just want to buy all these shoes, man, this is crazy. Um, happy birthday, Kelvis. Uh, Nike Sakai Fragment, oof, I don't think those are out yet. Um, the two New Balances, I, I think I prefer this one over this one, I think, personally. And then the Paris SBs, SBs, Paris St. Germain's, <laughs> Jordan 4s, the Union Jordan 4s in both colorways, and the Travis Scott 4s. This is going to be a really tough decision, and I, unfortunately I can't tell you which ones I'm picking because of how I decided to do this video. So, guys, let me know in the chat really quickly which shoes you guys would, with for two, for two grand, which shoes would you grab? I want to say what I'm thinking, but I don't want to ruin it, so I'm I'm not I'm not going to. Um, dang. Yeah, I think I I think I've I think I've got a pretty good decision. How do you feel about the Dunk Highs dropping tomorrow? I don't. Which Dunk Highs are they? I should know. I don't know. Oh, the Doraemons. They're dope. They're dope. Uh, let's see. You going for dark mochas on Saturday? Of course. I'm not grabbing, <laughs> Ryan, I'm not grabbing all these, don't worry. <laughs> I'm grabbing, I'm going to pick like two or three of them. Maybe three or four, depending on what the prices are. Uh, let's see, okay guys. These, this is selection, we'll go through one more time before we end the stream. We got the Nike Kobe 5, Kobe 5 Pro Tros, we got the Dunk Highs, wow, now we're getting a lot of people. Guavas, Kobe's, TS4s, New Balance's, PSG's, and Guavas, that's a, Marin, that's a good, that's a good call. Um, the Dunk Highs and Travis Scott 4s. Good call, Nathan. Travis Scott's all day. Lose the New Balances. Dang, man. I love New Balances. Uh, Nike Air Mag review. <laughs> that would be sick. Yeah, if I was going to drop nine grand, i would probably grab something like Dior's or Air, Maxes or, or Air Mags or something. Or they're not Air Mags. They're just Nike Mags. Um, man, these Dunks are sick, though. Jordan 4 Guavas. Travis. Oh, Trophy Room 1s are nuts. 
Yeah, so okay, really quick. Um, again, here's a selection. Kobe's, Dunks, Travis Air, uh, Air Force Ones, Air Jordan Ones, Yeezy Quantums, Low Top Air Jordan Ones, New Balance, New Balance, Kif New Balances. Um, the 85s are sick. Rambling, Dominguez, they're sick. Unions, and then the Travis Scott Fours. So that's that's what I got in the cart. Like I said, make sure to stay tuned because upcoming this week or coming up this week, we're gonna have a big unboxing showing off all the sneakers that I that I ended up grabbing. Um, but guys, I want to give a huge thank you once again to Farfetch for sponsoring today's live stream. They are one of my favorite sponsors because they're just so good to me. They're just really great people. I love their I love their company. I love Farfetch.com. I genuinely use it all the time. Like I, I I know like a lot of sponsors say that, and I know a lot of sponsors say this part too, but. I buy a lot of early sneakers, and Farfetch owns Stadium Goods, and so I either buy them through through Farfetch or I buy them through Stadium Goods. Um, and like, I mean, I would say like probably forty percent of the sneakers in my collection are from Farfetch, and uh, I, I just love their service. They have really great customer service. Their shipping is really fast. Um, I said earlier, like they, they they everything that you want is on Farfetch because they aggregate a bunch of products from from companies all over the world, uh, boutiques all over the world, fifty plus countries. I think they have boutiques in. But um, it's, it's a really great place to go. Uh, I would definitely check out their website sooner than later, as you guys can see right below me. Um, if you use Seth11, you get 11% off for the next 24 hours. So if you guys want to check that out, there are links in the description below. But guys, I think that's pretty much going to round it off. I think we have uh, we've finished off the stream and we've got some good, some good sneakers for me to choose from. So I'm really excited for that. Guys, you have been an absolute blast to have in the chat. I love you guys. Ducking Llama, is that a typo on the Kobe's Pronto? It may be. I, never, I didn't notice that. <laughs> it might be. Um, but guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Make sure to stay tuned for the unboxing coming up very soon. It will be in the new studio, which I'm very, very excited about. And as always, guys, have a good one. Make sure to stay safe and uh, check out Farfetch. Seriously, it's worth it. I love you guys. I'll see you guys later.